Welcome back to another video. Today we are back in the Open Great League and we're going to run a different team. Let's see what we can run with. We got the uh, Shadow Dragonite paired with the Empoleon and the Gouging. So very interesting team here. Our opponent is going to have to consider shielding or tanking this Dragon Claw. They end up deciding to shield. We're going to switch out into the Shadow Empoleon. Tank the body stand right there. And you can see here, these Steel Wings are going to be doing some really good damage. So much that they decide to quit. They realize that they do not have the team to beat ours. So you got the uh, Shadow Dragonite with the Shadow Empoleon Core. And Dragouchi is just kind of a fun Pokemon to use right now. Uh, it is running the Gunk Shot, I believe, and the Aqua Tail. So we'll see that in action shortly. There, uh, we're faced with a Shadow Dragonair. Dragonair is going to be able to take out our Dragonite unfortunately and then our opponent here does switch out into the Lantern and then they uh, switch into their Skarmory after seeing that uh, it doesn't have a good chance against the Dragouchi so two shield versus this uh, Skarmory we'll see if we can wiggle out of this situation not looking so great right now the uh, opponent is able to tank these Aqua Tails quite nicely the goal right now is to uh, use enough time with this last shield and potentially we can switch out eventually potential switch out after this right here and then we try to snipe that energy we do snipe that energy which is um decent but now we're in a, a bit of a situation now as this lantern is going to be able to uh take out our Emporia really easily and they were able to farm down so a little bit of a um hard to counter team right there but uh it is what it is we're actually gonna switch out one of the Pokemon here into the Wish Cache as the Shadow Empoleon is a little bit too weak to the Lanterns and we're seeing a lot of Lanterns right now so that was the reason behind that adjustment. We go for the Shadow Dragonair versus the Shadow Needle Queen here. We do win the CAP tie so this is gonna get our opponent to think about potentially shielding or lose their Needle Queen and they decide to let it go. They also have a Shadow for Alligator in the bag. This Shadow for Alligator has to think about shielding this right here ends up gaining one shield from our opponent and taking out this shadow for alligator into the yellow with just the dragonite here we're going to go into our dragology this dragology is going to be able to tank this hydro cannon here and then we're looking for a farm down looks like we do get that extra fast one to go through so we're going to shield here and see what they have in the back so they do have the wish cash in the back as well unfortunately for them we are going to have the health advantage as we are forcing them to use energy on our Dragalgy. And then now we have the heads up play. This is going to be in our favor as we, we have the um, huge health advantage as you can see here already in the yellow. They do get the debuff which is going to help them. But is it enough to overcome the uh, attacks from us? We do get the debuff as well. So that's obviously going to even things out a little bit. We're going to shield right here. They did a great job baiting with the Mud Bomb, but I don't think it matters because we're going to be able to get to this Skull. And then now it's just a race to who can get to their next move. The next Skull from our opponent does not KO because we did debuff them. So this is going to be GG's. We're going to be able to get to this Mud Bomb here. Take out the opposing Wish Cash. We had a matching Wish Cash matchup, uh, but most of the work was done from the Shadow Dragonite. Shadow Dragonite absolutely um, wrecking their first two Pokemon. In fact, they're kind of triple weak to it. Okay, we got the uh, Shadow Dragonite versus this Shadow Sand Slash. We're going to try to play this out in the one shield. That's like best case scenario. So we always, we are going to shield here. And then we're going to try to get a shield back with a potential um, Dragon Claw Bait. We do get that shield. And now we're going to try to catch a move here. Even though this is going to be a super effective move, we do get them to use some energy. We survive. And we're going to force them to use their next Ice Punch here. So, we get this Sand Slash decently pretty low. And now we have the uh, Witch Cash to come back in. We're not going to throw the move right here. Um, because we do want the extra energy. We do tank the Ice Punch quite easily. Looking for a Farm Down. We do get the Farm Down. So, that is great news for us. And now we're going to go for this um, Witch Cash versus Polyrath play. It, it is a Shadow Polyrath. We're going to try to get this last shield right here. This Dragon Claw does get the shield from our opponent. They decide to switch out into their uh, Gligar. 
This Gligar is going to have to tank a Scold. Doesn't quite KO. That's a little bit unfortunate because now we have to shield here. If that was a Shadow Wish Catch, maybe we would have been able to take it out. And now we have no way of farming this down, so we have to use a Mud Bomb here. Trying to get the Mud Bomb, and then let's see if we can get to a move. Oh, one fast move away from potentially winning this game. So GG's to our opponent. They were able to use their Apollyrath as their closer. All right, we got one last game here. We're going to decide to potentially switch out something. Let's see. Looks like we're going to switch out into a, another Steel type, potentially. We decided to pick the Reggie Steel for a little bit more bulk. So running the uh, Shadow Dragonite does require a little bit more bulk, and these are the next two bulkiest to pair with the Dragonite. All right. We're going to face the Skarmory. This Skarmory will be uh, trying to catch a move. Our opponent here does get a little bit stunlocked, I think. They throw a move. Braper goes through into the Reggie. Doesn't do that much damage, considering all things. And then they switch out into their Greedon. This Greedon here is going to uh, be able to get to a move here, but they had to use a shield. One Crunch goes through. We avoid the debuff. Next move comes through. This is probably another Crunch. Okay, another crunch comes through, avoid the debuff again, and now we are threatening potentially two shields, or they're going to take some huge damage. Our opponent does take that move, and then we're going to switch out immediately into our Dragonite to snipe that energy. Now we have some energy advantage back towards this Skarmory. We know the Skarmory already used the move, so... Okay, they actually switch out. What do they switch out into? Okay, they switch out into the Guzzlord, so they, just, they elected to save that Skarmory, and then... Um, use their Guzzler as their closer because they have no shields right now. Now, we know that this is going to be a long match because both of us are quite tanky, but you can see we have two shields. So we didn't show the first one. It could have potentially been a crunch for the debuff, and that's why we didn't show that. So far, we have the advantage because we're going to be able to get to this Mud Bomb here to take out this Guzzler, and now they know it's GG's because we're going to be able to get to the Skull. No way they can chunk through our Wish Cash at this health, and we had a potential um, Reggie still catch still. So GG's to our opponent, able to win that with the Wish Cash. So check out this team if you haven't already, and let us know if you enjoyed the video.